Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here is following we have a is to power m plus n. It's same thing as a is to power m times a is to power n. At this here, this becomes 3 is to power x times 3 square equals to 60 on this side. The next step. Is same thing as 3 raised to the power x times 3 squared 3 times 3, that's 9, equals to 60 from here. The next step here, we divide this side by 9. That is, divide this side by 9. Also, divide this side by 9, which implies 9 cancelled each other here. We have 3 raised to the power x equals to 60 over 9. Then, yeah, we can write this as 3 raised to the power x equals to 3 times 20 over 3 times 3. At this here, 3 cancelled each other. We have 3 raised to the power x equals to 20 over 3. The next step here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log 3 raised to the power x equals to log 20 over 3. Then, here we apply the power of log n. When we have log n raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is here, what we have becomes x log 3 equals to log 20 over 3. Watch this video to the end and give it a thumbs up. Also share this video. Next step here, we divide with side by log 3. That is divide this side by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. That is here, log 3 cancel each other. We have x left, which is equal to log 20 over 3 divided by log 3. Then, yeah, this follows the law of log theorem. When we have log a over b, this is same thing as log a minus log b. That is, all we have here becomes x equals to log 20 minus log 3 all over log 3. Then here, we separate this into two fractions. All we have becomes x equals to log 20 over log 3 plus, sorry, we have minus here, that's minus log 3 over log 3. Then, here we have log 3 cancel each other, one left here. That is x equals to log 20 over log 3 minus 1. Then next step here, we can express 20 as 4 times 5. That is what we have here becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 3 minus 1 which implies this also follows the law of log n when we have log a times b which is the same thing as log a plus log b that is all we have becomes x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then, next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Watch this video to the end. Also subscribe for more videos and Turn the notification bell. Next step here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2. 
which is 2 squared. Oh, yeah, becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1, which implies yeah, we apply the power of log in 2 comes here. What we have becomes x equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 plus log 5 over log 3 minus 1. Then we apply change of base here. From what we have log a over log b, which is the same thing as log a to base b that is what we have here becomes x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 that is the value of x here we have 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Then what we have here becomes 3 raised to power 2 log 2 is 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1 then plus 2 is it equals to 60 on this side then from what we have here minus 1 plus 2 same thing as 2 minus 1 that's 1 and we have 3 raised to power 1 plus 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 is it equals to 60 on this side? Then we apply the law of indices here. When we have a raised to power n plus n, this same thing as a raised to power n times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 3 raised to power 1 times 3 raised to power 2, log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3. Is it equals to 60 on this side? And 3 raised to power 1, that's 3, then times here. We reverse this 2 up from power log. That is, we have 3 raised to power log 2 square is 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 is 3. Is it equal to 60 on this side? Then here, this becomes 3 times 3 raised to power log 2 square, that's 4, then is 3 times 3 raised to power log 5 base 3, is it equal to 60 on this side? Then this follows what we have. A raised to power log B to base A, which is equal to B. But this, yeah, this becomes 3 times 4, then times 5. Is it equal to 60 on this side? And 3 times 4, 12. 12 times 5, 60. Is it equal to 60 on this side? Then we have left hand side is equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 plus log 5 base 3 minus 1. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with someone. Put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.